Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. Today is Thankful Thursday and boy am I thankful for this beautiful little biracial baby, baby Willow. We're going to be giving her a bath. So we have her in the bath towel and the bath is all ready. So we're going to give her a bath. But before we do, I'm going to go ahead and read the scriptures. And then when we come out, we'll go over and um, get her dressed and show you the cute outfit that I'm putting on her. Isn't she just a beautiful baby? Oh, she's so gorgeous. Loving her so much. We really are enjoying this baby so much. Love her. She just is precious and love adding the ethnic babies to our collection. And she turned out so beautiful. I love her paint job. I do. I mean, she already came pretty good, you know, already just body painted but no art. I did all the art and added some more uh, coloration to her, did to her belly button. She had no nipples, uh, just the breast, um, you know, the little yeah. breast lumps there, but I added the nipples. I colored the belly button there. I uh, did her nails and her toes and all that. I've already done a video and showed you guys that. And then put in the beautiful gray eyes. And yeah, she is just a stunning baby. So she's doing really good, just kind of looking around and kind of looking at that ring light too. She also likes that ring light. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and read the word and then get a bath and get her dressed. Today we are on Joy Joyful. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. Psalms 92.4 Dear God, thank you for being my refuge, my safe place, because you are watching over me. I can sing for joy. Spread your protection over my loved ones as well, that those who love you may rejoice in you. Amen. Psalms 5.11 No, no, get out of there. Minnie's trying to get it over by the ring light. Um, but yeah, what a great thing, you know, that we can, um, you know, thank him for being, yeah. you know, our refuge, a safe place, because he's always watching over us. God is always yeah. watching over us. Thank you, Father, for making me known, to, or making known to me the path, paths of life. I know you will fill me with joy in your presence and eternal pleasures at your yeah. right hand. You are you are all I ever wanted or needed. You are more than I could ever ask for or need. Amen. Psalm 1611. Boy, you know, different paths that we go down. God is right there. He'll be right there. And if he brings you to it, he's going to get you through it. Uh, so like my situation still today is only the 26th. My surgery is on the 30th. I'm getting all these pre-recorded videos done. So that next week you guys will have all these videos and I will, you know, be able to relax. But he takes us down different paths and just see, you know, sees how strong we are, test our faith and all of that. But also I know that he's going to get you, you know, get us through it. You know, he definitely will. And he will fill you with joy. And this is going to be a thing of the past very soon for me. And I'll be able to move on to a new chapter in my life. So I'm excited for that. My Lord, the circumstances of my life have brought me low, but you have turned my welling into dancing. You have removed my sack cloth and clothed me with joy. What a great and mighty God you are. Amen. Psalms 30, 11. Boy, he is great and mighty. He is, you know, during uh, different parts of, you know, your life, like I said, circumstances that we have to go through. We may become very low. We brought down really low, but God will pull us right back up. You guys right back up. Just pray to him. Father, use me today to bring joy to all those I meet. Amen. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalm 35. Dear Lord, I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to the enemy, but have set me set my feet in a spacious plan, or a spacious place. Amen. Psalms 31, 7, and 8. He's keeping you from the enemy. He definitely is, and he's always there, always there. Father God, my joyful husband has returned home from war, and he is joyful or he is in joyful no more. His body has been enjoined and his soul is um, laugh languishing. I ask you to heal both his body and his soul. I pray that once again, he will celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. Only you can restore what has been lost. Thank you, Lord, for all you are going to do. Amen. Psalm 145, 7. Anybody in war that's come home, a great thing to pray for. God will get that person to it. You know, again, um, the people that serve our country, thank you so much for that. And thank you, God, for sending these, you know, these people with these hearts that will fight for our country, but that you keep them safe. And the ones that do pass away and die, may they rest in peace, but hopefully they're in heaven with you rejoicing and not having to deal with that anymore. They do put their life on the line. They definitely do. We have to remember that. And that's what Jesus did. He put his life on the line for us. 
Lord God, when I first gave my life to you, I felt such passion, such uh, fe uh, fever. I think it's fever. A favor. But lately, I feel myself cooling. The false lies only in me, Lord. For you are always more than worry worthy to be praised and exalted. Light my fire once more, Lord, and then help me to keep my spiritual fever serving you. Okay. I think it's favor. Serving you. Help me to be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Amen. Romans 12, 11 through 12. And again, boy, I need God right now more than anything. And I know he's here. He's, I can feel his presence so close. In fact, last night I was listening to a verse and I said, God, please, before I fall asleep, let me hear, uh, what was it? Jeremiah 29, 11, the verse of the four promises that he's not there to hurt you, harm you, but to just give you hope and peace. Um, I'm not reading exactly how it's, you know, it's said, but that's how they were saying it. And it's funny. I said, God, please, could I hear that tonight? And I know my surgery is going to be okay. And I had fell asleep and God woke me up. You guys woke me up right to the part that said you might be going through um, a uh, medical uh, situation. But remember Jeremiah 29, 11. And boy, I've been hearing that one so much. And even my friend Michelle read it to me. So I know God is definitely speaking to me. But he woke me up to hear that, you guys. Isn't that amazing? I just went to a... Um, you know, a Bible app that I listen to. I just go to all kinds of them. And I said, please, God, could I hear that tonight? Well, I fell asleep. He woke me up to hear it. I woke my husband up because I was in tears that the joyful noise of God, how he hears you and answers prayer. And sometimes immediately he woke me up. He said, wake up, my child. There it is. There's that verse you wanted to hear. And so I know he's going to get me through it. You know, I'm going through a tough time right now, but I'm going to come out brighter than ever. Shine brighter than any star there could be. Father, I am filled with joy for all you have done. Amen. And boy, I am. He saved me, you guys. He saved me from potential cancer. They're going to remove it. And I'm just happy that once you get these videos, it'll all be done and said and over with. And I'll be moving on to a new chapter in my life. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus, our Lord and Savior, who saved us. You know, that free gift of eternal life, if you believe. If you believe, it's yours. Read this from front to cover and start over again and keep doing it because that's what's going to get you through every situation, every hard time in life. He's going to get you through it. And boy, he brings good people into your life. I'm so grateful for Michelle. She came at the right time and boy, she's got some insight on God too. And it was so great the other night we were having like a Bible study and she was just saying some wonderful things that I needed to hear. So thank you, Michelle, for that. And thank you for the prayers for my surgery. And you guys, the surgery's all done by the time you see this video. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get little Willow in the bath. So we'll see you in just a moment. All right, so Willow is in the bath and she's loving it. It's her very yeah. first bath. Yeah, are you splashing? Yeah, do you like that? Do you like that bath? Yeah. We love you, little girl. When we're all done, we're gonna put a really pretty dress on you, yes. So we're gonna go ahead and bathe her up with the head to toe wash and shampoo Johnson and or just Johnson. I want to say Johnson and Johnson. I think that's what it used to be. So we're just gonna go ahead and just get soaping her up and clean her up. But yeah, it's her very first bath, and she doesn't really need to be powdered. I was saying powdered just because there's a couple spots on her that just wouldn't seal. Um, I tried like three times. Sometimes that happens with these silicones. And all you do then is just put a little bit of powder over those spots. Just a couple of pot, little spots. But I tried it three times and she just wasn't sealing. Um, just sometimes that happens. And remember, these aren't, um, you know, super expensive babies. But even the expensive ones I've seen on people's channel, they just have spots. I have one. I have a $3,000 baby. My Christian uh, has spots on him that, you know, I got him painted I mean, got him from Jaden, and he was painted by some artist. And, yeah, he had spots on him, shiny spots. So it has nothing to do with the quality of the baby. Um, it just definitely is um, just some spots just won't seal on a baby, you know. And I tried three times, three times, you guys, to fix it. But it's just a little bit down her side, and I think a little bit on her leg. I think that's all on her. But we're going to go ahead. Um, the silicone velvet is so great. You don't even have to powder these babies, but... I am going to powder her just in those spots. Look at that beautiful belly button. Yes, you've got beautiful eyes and a belly button. Yeah. So let's turn you, little girl, to your back. Yeah, I hope I'm not too much in the video, you guys. Hopefully it's just her. I never know when I set these up if I'm just getting just the baby. We're just going to give her a quick bath. Um, that piece on her, it is not disconnected. Her head right there, it is all one piece. But they made it look like, you know, they must have, re, you know, connected it on. 
So, um, you know, when they did it, it must have been two pieces, and then they put it together. But, yeah, um, it would have been cute if she would have had a rotating head. That would have been cute, you know, to have that. I have that with Christian like that. But, yeah, I, I don't know if that's how they did it. Of course, I just, you know, I don't know that part. Let me get this little cup here. I don't know if they did that with this baby, but um, it looks like it. It looks like they connected that at the end. Because it goes all the way around that way. So, yeah, it looks like that's how they did it. They did two pieces with her. And that's probably why she doesn't have seam lines down her arms and legs and all of that. She didn't need those. So she was a full pour for the belly and um, the arms and legs and all that. And then the head was a separate. And then down her back. Um, well, she has it down her back. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how they did it. I just don't know exactly how they did it. So... But it's okay. She's beautiful, and I love it. But it would have been cool if she would have that rotating head like Christian. Yeah. But I still can do a lot with her head, you know. That's what's nice about these babies. You can, you know, rotate it yourself. So we're just cleaning out any of that KY. Just getting her cleaned up. Yeah, you like this? You're just cooing away. Yeah, you're just cooing away. Yeah, you're just cooing away. I hope you stayed in the video good. But yeah, so we got her all cleaned up. So now we're going to get her dried and out on the couch. So we'll meet you guys out there. All right, you guys. So she's out of the bath. You've seen her in the bath. So cute. So we're going to go ahead and get her dressed. We got a little preemie diaper here. And then the outfit we're going to put on her. I got this from Target, you guys. And I got it on discount. Um, it was originally $16 and I only paid 8 bucks for it. So half the price. Hopefully you guys can see that. It was 16 down to 8 I sure hope that's in frame for you guys. But it's the little green dress, and it's got the little bloomers. It's um kind of like a tropical-looking dress. It's all green. It's a cat and jack, and it's just cotton, and it's got all the different colorations of flowers running through it and leaves and just art. It's just so beautiful. And then it's got the short sleeves with the, uh, you know, the um where it comes in, you know, just the elastic in it, and then it just flares out. And I'm going to do a white bow on her. I know she last had a white bow, but I want the white bow because the green one's being used by Topanga. So I can't use that. Then we're going to put these little booties on with her, these little white booties. So that will be cute. And then I've got a little white nook for her. So we're going to go ahead and just powder up those couple little areas I was talking about. She's just got a couple little areas that um, are uh, just shiny and didn't um, seal. So that's okay. You know, that happens with babies. And sometimes you just lose the paint and the, the you know, shininess comes back anyway. But yeah, it just... Wouldn't seal completely with her. I tried three times and it just wouldn't, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that because these babies are still beautiful. And even with a couple of shiny spots, we can always just put a little bit of baby powder there. And it's not bad. Like I said, it's very little. It's just a little bit on the side of her and then a little bit um, on, I think, her leg. I think. I don't know. I have to check. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I did get that sealed, but I do know that um, she's got it on the side. So I want to do the side on her. Trying to grab the little diaper here. And I always like her little belly button to show. I know it doesn't show in the outfits, but I like it to show. So we'll just get a little bit of baby powder out here. We don't need a lot. So just a little bit. Because like I said, she's silicone velvet, so she stays velvety soft. But just down this side here, I just want to powder that. So we don't see the shiny spot. And then I'm just going to look around and see if she has any more. There's a little bit here. So that's good. And let's see, the other one looks good, I think. Um, her legs look good. Legs look good there. I think everything's good there. And I think her head's okay, too. Yeah, I think that was all that we had to worry about on her. Um, I'll check her back quick. We're just going to just take the leftover that's left here now and just put it on her. It just makes her softer so it doesn't hurt, right? Might as well just make her a little softer. So we'll pull this out. Yes, lay you down, and we'll just do her face and stuff like that. And just get her just soft everywhere we can because we'll yeah. just use up the rest of it so we don't waste it. And now she's even softer. Yeah, she's even softer. Now. Okay, let's get her up so she's up in the camera. Good for you guys. And now we're going to put the little outfit on her. So we'll go ahead and put the little socks on first, those little booties. Put those yeah. on her first. Had to get them on the feet correct though. They were kind of crooked there. And tie them up. 
for my glasses down here. I always have my glasses up when I'm doing um, the reading. But I can't see anything like close anymore since I got these new glasses. So my eyes definitely got worse. And so I need like bifocals in there. But didn't want to admit that I'm old and I need bifocals. <laughs> so I said no bifocals yet. I should have got the bifocals. I know, right guys? I guess we just always want to stay young. We don't want to admit we're getting older. <laughs> Sorry, just having a tough time tying this one off, but I am trying. Thank God I don't have any nails on. I probably wouldn't be able to do it if I did. These ones are short and little. There you go. Oh, how cute. Let's make sure you're in frame, little girl, because I always worry about that, that you're not in frame. All right, you are in frame. Okay, so let's get this cute little dress on you and get going for the day. Daddy's grilling and Mommy's hungry. So we're going to get this done here quickly. Um, wow, that's a, not an easy button to put on. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe there's something that I'm missing or something with this. Um, oh, I see how it goes. But yeah, it's not. A, this is a tough button to get off of this. I don't like that. Uh, and we're not going to be able to put this on her without pushing the button off. Uh, so, hopefully once we get it off, we'll be able to get it back on. I think it's just because it's new, you guys. That would have been a lot better uh, without that. We could have done without that. Yeah, right? We could have done without that. I can show you that again in case you didn't see it. So, 8 and it was 16. So, half the price for a cat and jack. That's a great price. And this is a newborn size, I believe. I'm putting a newborn size on her. Can you look at the dress? Yeah, this is newborn size. She wears boutique, um, between preemie and newborn. So I know this is going to fit her good. Might be a little big on her, but you know, it fits her good. Just a slightly big on her waist, but it won't fall off, so that's good. Okay, and then we'll get the dress on her. And boy, I hope we can get that button back up. Maybe it'll button easier than it did. She's doing so well, you guys. Even with changing her, she's doing good. And she, she does like her nook, but... She's like, wait a minute now, get that off my eye. I gotta see, I can't see. But at least she's not crying. Yeah, say so you're doing good, little Willow. You're such a good baby. So glad to have adopted you. Yeah, so glad to have adopted you. So just turn over so mommy can get this button. Then let's hope that I can button this easier than when it went, when it came off. I just hope I can button it easier. If not, we're just going to get off the film and I'll do it after. I might have to use a little tool to do this. Yeah, we're just going to do this after because I cannot button this. And I'm not going to take 20 minutes to try to button this. And wait, we'll just pull it together like this so you guys can see how cute it is. I have no idea why that button is really hard to button. They should have put an elastic button on that. Yeah, that's the elasticity, like a binder type button. But, oh, goodness, this is cute on her. It looks great with her skin tone. Those, uh, you know, nice um, dark-skinned babies look so pretty with the, the beautiful yeah. colors like that. They really do. So let's give her her white bow. Yeah. And I did pierce her ears. She's got um, gray earrings. We did a silver crystal. So it's like a gray, well, a gray crystal. O-M-G. Oh, my God, you're so pretty, yeah. Willow. You are so beautiful. That green looks great on her. Wow, how pretty. We'll just keep the nook right next to her since she's okay. We'll just put it right here by her dress. But anyways, look at her, you guys. Isn't she gorgeous? Let's lift this up just a little bit so you can see the little bloomers underneath yeah. it, too. So cute. Aw, she's adorable. Mwah. Love you, sweet girl. All right, well, we're going to get going, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video with the bathing of Willow, our little adopted um, biracial baby. 
And I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, and yeah. healthy. And now Willow will blow you a kiss. Mwah. And say love my aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, mommy, and daddy. We'll talk to you guys later. Everybody take care and God bless.